Welcome to Introduction to HTML, Create a Web Page. This tutorial features steps for authoring a simple web page using HTML. It includes how to create an HTML file using Notepad, add a title and content paragraph, insert a working hyperlink, and uploading an image. Your web page will be able to be viewed in a web browser such as this one, Firefox. To begin, open Notepad on your PC or text edit on a Mac. These are free text editors. If using a PC, Notepad is located with accessories. Save this document as an HTML file in the folder you created to house the project web page items. Note the folder is named Web. To save the file, name it index.html. You will need to add the .html as a file extension. Save your file, and the title will display. View the file in Firefox. Select the hamburger menu. Open file. Locate your folder. Select Index and Open. Your file location will display in the address bar. Right now the browser is empty because the file is empty. There is nothing to display. We'll begin building your web page. We will use tags to define elements, putting page building blocks in place. We'll start with the HTML tag pair. First the opening tag, next the closing tag. Next, the opening and closing header tags. Title tags will help identify your page. In the space between the title tags, enter the title of your page. To see changes, save the notepad file. Then refresh your browser. Your page title now displays in the Browser tab. Insert the body tags. Similar to the body of any document, this area will contain what will become the visible page. Content is placed between the opening and closing tags. Begin adding content by creating a page header. Use header tags to define a text area on the page. Remember, the smaller the number, the larger the text. Save your file and refresh your browser. Use the page or paragraph tags to define the next area and enter a sentence on your page. Save your file and refresh the browser. If you would like the text to display as two lines, insert a page break. The break peg contains both opening and closing elements and can stand alone. Save your file and refresh the browser. To add an image, begin with the image source tag. Then direct your page to your browser image. Remember, it needs to be in the same folder as your file. Detail image name and type bracketed in quotes next to the image source tag. Add an alternate name to your image. Text will display for screen readers or if the page does not load correctly. Start by adding the alt tag, followed by the alternate name. Bracket the name in quotes next to the tag. Close the attribute. Save your file. And refresh your browser. It is possible to adjust image size using the width and height attributes. First, determine the size of your image. Open the project folder. Select the image and view its dimensions. This image is 640 by 443 pixels. Include this information with your image source. By adjusting the width to 320 and the height to 221, the image will display half its original size. Save the file and refresh your browser. The last thing we're going to do 
is add an active link or hyperlink to the page. Locate a website of interest and copy the URL from the browser. Paste the link information in your page. Wrap the link using an anchor tag and the href attribute specifying address. Add link between the tags. This is what will be visible to the web page user. Save your file and refresh your browser. Notice that the link is located right next to the picture. You can adjust that by including page tags around the link. Include your link text within a sentence. Add the text before the link. Save and refresh. At this point, test your link. It should direct you to the page. Return to your page. It's also possible to define where the link page will display. To open a link in a new window, use the target attribute with blank for blank page. Include this with your link information. Save your file, refresh your page, and test the link. With HTML, it is possible to make this be understood by a web browser to look like this. Continue with the next section of Introduction to HTML to learn more about applying these skills to other platforms.